Hello, welcome to Soulprint Intuitive Tarot. Um, I'm glad you could join me. It is August 10th and you can see Skittles has decided to make his cameo appearance in this video. I think he thought the cat was getting too much attention. So, um, I have a question. Before I get to my question, I just um, want to just say something. So, um, I don't know how well you can see this t-shirt. Okay. Um, my daughter was two. My daughter was three. Okay. When this shirt was made for me, they're now in their 20s. But I specifically pulled this shirt, which at this point really is more of a keepsake. Um, I pulled it out because I wanted to do something or wear something that reflected the fact that my you know, love, my best thoughts, um, healing energy is all being sent to the children of Mississippi because if it was not their parents, it was their friend's parents, it was somebody they know, a relative, a cousin, who was scooped up in that, again, cruel and horrible raid. Um, and so, again, a moment to just send love and light out to those um people who are suffering especially the kids but trust me I'm, I, I understand there's spouses missing sons daughters everyone you know I'm just saying a special attention to the young children who are being traumatized by this cruel cruel act and uh, and I maintain this is nothing more than a publicity stunt I, I, he said as much in that in that press conference this morning. He views it as a deterrent. And so that tells you where this guy's at and where he thinks his, you know, his priorities are. So I um, want to do, so here's my question. Sorry. So here's my question. How's Trump doing? What's going on with him right now? What's going on in his head? What's rolling around? What is his strategy? Does he have a strategy? Is he just lashing out like an, an emotionally not balanced, unbalanced person? What's his story there? Um, so... I wanted to do a bit of a look-see on that. I figured since yesterday I did the um, Melania Trump deep dive, it was maybe time to just do another one on Trump, especially given how kind of crazy his behavior has been lately. And I, I eat crazy even for him. So, come on down. Aw, so cute. Tell any boy, enjoy them when they're little because they sure grow up fast. Donald Trump behavior, Donald Trump behavior, Donald Trump behavior. Okay. He is starting to see that more quickly than he thought even possible, the victory that he was so assured he was going to get is starting to slip away. Everywhere he turns, the truth is um, leaking out. It's it's. It's being found out. It's being exposed. So, from um, the news within the last day or two, we know a couple things. We know that a bunch of banks, some of which Trump and the Trump kids are trying are suing to prevent the release of those financial documents. Those documents have already been turned over to a couple of the committees who are investigating him. They have also been turned over to um, the New York State Justice Department. So that's happening. It's probably unhinging him a fair bit considering, you know, 
keeping his money connections and business dealings secret is a paramount importance to him. So that's going on. Um, the Democrats are now openly saying a impeachment hearing, you know, has begun. Technically, that is the steps we are taking now, and that is what is going on. Just because there wasn't, you know, fireworks and um, writing in the sky saying we are, you know, starting the impeachment process, it doesn't mean it hasn't been, been going on. So that's got the poor guy a little wigged out. The whole um, raid on Mississippi, in Mississippi, all that has done, uh, you know, okay, so it's done a lot of things. One, it has again given the American people um, something very blatant and obvious to look to um, when it comes to more examples of his cruelty and inhumanity. But it's also done something else. It's pointed the finger at those people who take advantage of undocumented workers. They pay no benefits. They don't pay overtime. There's all kinds of ways in which those poor people are being really, really badly treated. And again, as usual, the companies who hire these people are not punished. It is the people who are punished and, and whose lives sometimes are actually literally destroyed because of this. But what it has done is created a renewed interest in exactly how many undocumented workers are associated with the Trump group of companies. Exactly how many are there at Mar-a-Lago and Bedminster, whatever that's called, that place, that golf course. How many are there? Because dollars to donuts, you're going to find them. And you're going to find that this is something he knows about. This is something the family knows about. This is considered normal business practice. So the more, you know, this is the ironic thing about Trump, right? The more he tries to push his agenda of cruelty, inhumanity, um, insanity, the more light he inadvertently ends up shining on his own wrongdoing. You know, it is just like when he accuses somebody of something. You know that that is what he, it's a reflection of what he has inside of him. So again, in trying to push one agenda, he has exposed himself again. He has created another area where there are going to be some significant deep diving going on by reporters and, and people like that who are out to find out what else is being hidden. And there's a lot that's being hidden. Here's the White House and here's him going away. Okay. Is this, is everything that's going on going to be enough to inspire him to like pack up and go? At this point, I can't answer that. I can't tell you. But I can tell you that he's starting to recognize that the White House, despite all of the things, the departments, the rules and regulations that have been cut and slashed and slashed and cut under his reign, the White House cannot protect him for forever. He's making this incredibly difficult for other Republicans who are coming up for re-election. And slowly but surely, they're starting to push back. That pushback may not be happening in public, but I can promise you it is happening in private because they do not like the labels and the exposure that is being created by his behavior. 
it is going to create the end of the Republican stronghold on Washington. They're aware of it, they can see the writing on the wall, and they're starting to push back privately against Trump. And so, despite his going on and on about how he has so much support and the Republicans love him and the senators adore him, it's not um, accurate. And I do acknowledge and understand that he has like a high 90s percentage, um, a high 90 percentage approval rating among Republicans. But this is the thing, is that the number of Republicans there were in um, November of 2016 has significantly, significantly diminished. So, yeah, those hanger-oners are still um, approving of him. In fact, like, let's face it, uh, the, the whole immigration thing, the, the rollbacks on um, protections for land, the environment, that's why they voted him in. That's what they wanted. They're getting what they want. And there is this percentage of them that absolutely are completely unaffected. It just doesn't worry them at all that they have a president who is racist. It doesn't worry them that they have a president who is almost inhuman. It doesn't worry them that they have a president who is alienating just about every other country on the planet, except for those few that have vicious and violent dictators themselves. He really likes those guys. None of that seems to affect them. And, and that's sad. It really is. But people who are having to actually come up against the pushback against Donald Trump by their voters, by their constituents, um, yeah, they're not liking it so much. And they're starting to let him know, you know what, this isn't working so well for us here. Like, you gotta, you gotta cool it. And of course, he is his own best whatever. And so he doesn't listen to them. He just doesn't care. He thinks, you know, of course, he's a stable genius, right? So he thinks that his perceptions, his thoughts, his beliefs are right, are accurate, and they reflect a huge majority of the American public, and they do not, despite what the people who are around him, his aides, whoever's around him, is telling him to keep him calm and happy. But when reality sort of intrudes, like, oh my God, they've started impeachment proceedings, oh my God, um, all of those bank documents, including emails, for goodness sakes, have been turned over to the very people I don't want it turned over to. Oh my goodness. Now there's more pushback on, you know, my stance against Latinos and immigrants. That's, that's not playing so well for me. Oh, Oh, people really, really don't like the whole gun violence thing in this country. And yep, I can stand in solidarity with the NRA, except the NRA doesn't actually have as much clout and power as it used to, in part because of blatant corruption, of course, but in part because even people who are NRA members are horrified. They are horrified by what they see going on in the United States. So, we know this. We know Trump is erratic. We know that he is scared of those in positions of authority over him. So, state investigations um, and the committees who are doing oversight and investigating him. He can't control them. And he's losing the lawsuits. He's, he, you know, he's not getting his way with the courts um, to the degree that he wants to get them. So everywhere he looks, things are just start. The, it's starting to. Um, the foundation is is literally starting to wash away on him. He doesn't have 
um, a strong base anymore. He doesn't have a strong foundation anymore. And slowly but surely, this information is getting through to him. He might talk a good talk in public, but he understands his second term of presidency is absolutely, absolutely in jeopardy. He is not... I mean, first of all, okay, we know he's not going to win if he's still in office and that um, that it ends up being an election that, that, you know, takes him out. But he's understanding that he, those tools, those tricks that he thought he had wrapped up are not quite so wrapped up. The truth is coming at him. Justice is coming at him. And he is in a defensive posture. He is a defeat, you know, he's backing away. He's trying to back down. He's trying to put a good spin on things, right? He's trying to ensure that um, he can distract enough so that people aren't paying attention to what's actually going on. Well, you know what? People are paying attention. They're not liking what they see. And there is significant, significant pushback on what has been going on. And it's going to continue because as the country moves closer and closer to their elections, um, more and more attention is going to be brought to bear on the things Trump says, does, believes, and inflicts the things and the damage and the hurt and the harm that he inflicts on the people of his country and you know and by extension people who are trying to become trying to come into the united states it's he's yeah. You know, it's like he's kind of digging his own grave. So many secrets are going to start coming out. Um, you know, and again, the phrase, death by a thousand cuts, right? That's what's going to go on. It's going to be one body slam after another body slam until there comes a point where he's just a, a pinball in a pinball machine, all right? He's scattering everywhere because he's being chased by his own words and deeds just constant defense and let me tell you the people around him are just as worn out just exhausted they cannot keep up with the insanity that they're watching they don't it's almost as if they're not they don't even have the slightest idea anymore how to rein him in and get him back under control which is how come you see these like crazy, crazy Twitter rants that happen and the, the you know, rambling press conferences where he's like all over the place because nobody is trying to rein him in anymore. Nobody. He is just being left to his own crazy devices and it's not going to work. And ultimately, the truth is going to bring him down and the wishes of the American people are going to be achieved and realized. So, he's not fighting a war he can win. And he's not in any place or state where mentally he is almost even actually um, able to process it. He gets that it's bad. Like, he gets that. But there isn't a part of his brain that says, okay, well, strategically, how do I um, make it not be so bad? How do I fix this? How do I correct it? That isn't part of his makeup. His makeup is push back, push back, double down, double down. Um, you know, you hit me, I'm hitting you harder. That's all he knows. He doesn't have another way of actually correcting something. He doesn't. And more and more information about the Epstein thing is coming out. And frankly, whether he is or is not uh, connected to that situation in um, 
a more disgusting way than we already, you know, suspect. But the constant um, Epstein information coming out and, and it being tied to Trump and their relationship being, you know, mulled over and looked at over, everything, everything that is going on in his life right now is just completely supporting his destruction. Completely supporting it. And he can't defend himself anymore. His emotions are riding high. He never gets any good news. And on top of everything else, the one thing that he was trying to safeguard more than anything else, which was his money, is going to be exposed. So, all his dirty dealings, the dark money, and his greed. I guess at this point, all you can really say is that the erratic and, and the crazy is going to continue. I have warned you about this. I have told you about this. It gets worse. It gets bumpier. It becomes crueler. It becomes less, and hard though this is to believe, but it actually becomes less human, less feeling less just less so take comfort from a couple things take comfort from the fact that the more erratic his behavior and the the sort of more insane those ramblings become the more people that he alienates, the more people who maybe were sitting on the fence are going, what the heck is going on in our White House? That's happening. You have the press digging deep on the very things that Trump rails and rants about. Because if there's one thing anybody's figured out about him is that which he talks about, that which he accuses others of being is exactly the one thing or the things that he is trying to cover up in his own world and life. The impeachment thing is moving forward. He has, he's a coward. Um, and so the, the threats, the increased security, um, having to literally being told, listen, people hate you and we're not actually sure how well we can protect you. It scares him. He's not a brave man. He's a coward with bone spurs, okay? So, he's coming down. It's not gonna be pretty, and it may not be as fast as everybody, trust me, everybody, would like to have happen, but it's happening. Continue to support those who are, you know, making it their life, his, their life work to ensure that he is not able to create any more destruction going forward for another four years. And take comfort from the fact that slowly but surely, things change. And they're not changing to his benefit. They are changing to the, the, the pressure and the weight that is coming to bear on People who, again, are going to be on the wrong side of history. So keep up the good work, Americans. Way to go. Look at you go. You're actually accomplishing it. I know it's painfully slow, but it's happening. You're doing it. Ain't nothing better than that. So, um, thank you very much for finding me, for watching me, for subscribing. Um, the donations have been so sweet and mean so much. And um, if you're looking for a private reading, just check out that little box below because I do have availability fairly soon. So um, you don't have a long wait. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you because I am now over 3,000 subscribers. You guys are amazing. Thank you. So for now, until next time, take care, be well, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.